Uh, well, welcome back, you guys, your favorite trig class. We're going to take a look at, oops, where did it go? Try that again. We'll take a look at parabolas in, in more detail today. And um, the definition of a parabola, you know, we've done some, some basic parabolas um, before, like y equals x squared, for example, right? And by definition, though, a parabola is actually a collection of all points that are a fixed point from a point called the focus. This is called the focus of the parabola, so we haven't talked about that before. And what's well, referred to as the directrix line. I'll put it in solid red. This is my directrix. And so it's the collection of all points in the plane that are in equal distance from there. So for example, this xy point, let's say it's a distance d from there, that means it'll be the same distance d to there. If I take this point, that distance, those distances will be the same. Any point on my parabola. So it's the collection of all points, that's what makes up that parabola that's uh, equidistant uh, back to the focus as it is to the directrix, okay? So let's let's do a little more vocabulary here. Um, down here I have four types of parabolas. These are all centered where the vertex is centered at the origin. So this is our V vertex. Uh, they're all at the origin, each one of these. Notice this one opens to the right. And its focus, it will always wrap around the focus. And so the focus is a distance away from the vertex. And then this directrix line, let me put it in orange here. This is called our directrix line. That is a distance from the vertex. So that's a distance from the vertex. Okay. Again, that's a distance of a distance of a okay so you got you've got the vertex right there or vertex right there vertex right there you've got uh, distance a out to the focus which is the same distance a out to the directrix okay you got those four types of uh, equations now um, you've also got what's referred to as the um, it's called the lattice rectum and the lattice rectum is the line segment that goes through the focus it goes through the focus but it the end points are on the parabola okay so this is referred to as i'll be technical about it this is referred to as the lattice rectum or i'm going to call it the focal width You'll hear that as well, the focal width. And the focal width is a distance of 4a. So whatever your a distance is, it's four times that, the absolute value of that since it's a distance. That's what that line segment length is. And that'll help us when we're graphing these. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, look at this first example. I have a y squared equals 8x. And so let me erase some of this for just a second. And we got to decide, does this thing open up, down, right, or left? Well, notice that the y is being squared. The y is being squared. So it's, is it going to open to the right, like the first one, right? It opens to the right. Or is it going to open to the left, like the second one? Well, notice that it's y squared equals a positive 8x. And so it's going to actually be the first one. It's going to open to the right. And so I'm going to make a note of that. I'm going to go ahead and write down here. Number one, I have y squared equals 8x. So this thing opens to the right. The parabola will open up to the right. The vertex will be right there at the center. And I'm going to go ahead and write y squared equals 4ax so that I can identify what my a is. 
So see how I have an 8 right there? So 8 equals 4a. So I divide both sides by 2, and notice I get, I'm sorry, I divide both sides by 4, 8 divided by 4, and I get 2 is my a. And so now let me make some notes here. All of these had a vertex. All these types of problems that I'm given, the ones that open right, left, up, or down, all have a vertex at the origin. So let me put that on. And I know this thing is going to open to the right, so it's going to look something like this. Oops. Um, I don't know how wide it is yet, uh, but we'll get to that. We'll make this more accurate. Um, the fact that my focus is a distance away, so I'm a distance of two away. So I'm going to put my focus right there. There's my focus. So my focus is at two zero. A is two, so two distance away. So my focus is at two zero. Now my directrix will be also a units away. So two units away. So I can draw the line from my directrix. Let me do it in green here. Here's my directrix. So my directrix is that vertical line. So x equals negative 2. There's my directrix. Okay. Now the third thing I had mentioned is my focal width. is the absolute value of 4a. So it's 4 times, in this case, our a is 2. So it's a distance of 8. Okay, So that means the line segment, the, the lattice rectum, uh, that goes through the focus has a length of 8. So it'll go up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. See how that has a length of 8 and so when I draw my when I draw this I want to go through there and that that kind of helps me to draw how wide that blue parabola is I would also prefer you to put some points in on that lattice rectum, that orange focal width line segment. And so if you look at that, <clears throat> see how our focus here has an x value of 2? If I plug in an x value of 2 into my equation, the original equation is y squared equals 8x. And I solve for y, I get plus or minus 4. So 2 plus or minus 4. So I have 2 comma 4 right there. Here's the 2 negative 4 down there. So I have those two points are on my parabola as well as my vertex right there. Right, My vertex is at 0, 0. My focus is at 2, 0. My focal width is 8. And my directrix is x being negative 2. All right, so this one we've got x squared. x is being squared. x squared equals negative 4y. So I have two scenarios if I look up above in my notes. I have x squared equals 4ay, and that's the one centered at the vertex it opens up. The second option with an x squared is negative 4ay, and that's the one that opens down. Well, which one is it? I have x squared being negative 4y, so I'm going to say, oh, this one opens down. So I'm going to use x squared equals negative 4ay. Let me go ahead and erase this for a minute. So this opens down. And if you want to make a little note, you know, vertex right there, it's going to open down, right? So that would be the equation. The general form of the equation is negative 4ay. And so then I'll say, okay, well, number one, let's go ahead and solve for a. I need to find out what my a is. So I set negative 4 equal negative 4a. I divide both sides by negative 4 to solve for a. So a equals negative 4 over negative 4, which is 1. So I know my a is 1. So my focus, I'm going to go down 
one. And then my directrix, I'm going to go up one. And my directrix will be that line across up one from the vertex. Okay, so my focus here is zero, negative one. Okay, let's start notating. Vertex is still at the origin. My focus is zero, negative one. The direction, the, the directrix will be a horizontal line this time. Up one from zero, zero. So the equation for that would be just y equaling one. All right, this, this is y equals one. That's my directrix here, okay? Now, what's the focal width of the lattice rectum? So how wide is this thing? Well, it's the absolute value of 4a. So it's the absolute value of 4 times our a is 1. So it's a 4 distance. So what I'm going to do is, that'll help me. I'm going to go out from the focus, 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right. I'm sorry, it's a total distance of 4. Total distance of four. So two to the right, two to the left. That's how wide this will be. And I can kind of draw it. It would be nice to check some points. Notice that both y values, the focus is has a y value of negative one. So in my equation, if I solve for x this time, when I let y be negative 1, so x squared equals 4, I get x being plus or minus 2. There's my two points. 2, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1. I have plus or minus 2, negative 1. So those are my two points. My vertex is 0, 0. My focus is 0, negative 1. It always, the parabola always wraps around the focus. So it's opening down around the focus. All right, so that's a couple examples of some that are centered at the or the vertex is at the origin. Uh, it's the same equations except you have HK involved. You know, if it opens to the right, now you just have an HK with the, instead of Y squared equals 4AX, you have a movement HK. It's 4ax minus h, right? So it's based on those same uh, equations that we had. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some with, they're moved around a little bit. The vertex is moved. So here I got y minus 3 squared equals negative 16x plus 2. Now my y is squared, and so I know... Um, it's kind of like the old y squared equals 4ax, so that one would open to the right. Or is it like y squared is negative 4ax? I know these are centered at the origin, so it moves to the left. Well, I have a negative 16x plus 2, so I know it's the ones that move left. In other words, on this one right there. y minus k squared equals negative 4ax minus h, right? I'm using that right there. So y minus k squared equals negative 4a x minus h. And so this thing will open to the left. It opens left. So what we'll do first is let's identify our vertex. That's our hk. So the vertex hk. So H would be, if you see how you have X plus 2, let me write it below, negative 16, X minus a negative 2. X minus a negative 2 is the same thing as X plus 2. So my H is actually negative 2. And then Y minus 3. So my 3 is the K. So negative 2, 3 is my vertex. And remember, this thing's going to open left. Right, it's going to open to the left. I can kind of draw that a little bit. 
And then once we have our vertex, let's go ahead and solve for a. So I have negative 16 equals negative 4a. Let's solve for a. Negative 16 equals negative 4a. Divide both sides by negative 4, and I get 4. So I'm a distance of 4 away. So I'm going to go from my vertex in black. Left, 1, 2, 3, 4. There's my focus. Uh, remember, this was negative 2, 3. This is my vertex. So if I went left 4, negative 2 minus uh, 3 would give me negative 6, 3. So my focus is negative 6, 3. Okay. And I'm going to go, again, this is a distance of A, right? So now I'm going to go a distance this way as well. One, two, three, four. I'm going to draw my directrix, which will be vertical because this thing opens left. And so negative two, the vertex x value, negative two plus four is in two. So the uh, directrix is the equation x equaling two. Here's my directrix. Now let's go ahead and do um, our, our focal width. So how wide is this parabola? By the way, this is, um, you know, this is why satellites are built the way that they are, right? Because everything points it back to that focus in the middle there. All the communication, the radio signals bounce off that satellite uh, to that focus in the middle. So focal width is 4a, <clears throat> our a here is uh, 4, so we got a, a 16 is our focal width. So I would want to go up from the focus, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that it's a total distance of 16, and then it'll go really wide around that. Now, if you want to check points, it's always good to put points in. What you're going to do is you're going to plug in the x value of negative 6 from the focus, right? Because this is the, that's the lattice rectum. So the x values are negative 6. So what would the y values be? So if you plug it in... Negative 6 plus 2, I got negative 16 times negative 4 is 64. Square root, square root. So I got y minus, oops, y minus 3 equals plus or minus 8. So I add 3 to both sides. So I got y equals 3 plus or minus 8. Well, 3 plus 8 is 11. 3 minus 8 is negative 5. So I have both 11 and negative 5 for the y values. So negative 6, 11, negative 6, negative 5 down there. That's those two points on the parabola. All right, next one we got uh, x minus 5 squared. So the x is being squared. So if the x is being squared, it opens up or down. If it's positive, it opens up. So I know this thing is going to open up, right? And so I'm going to write the form x minus a squared equals 4a positive 4a y minus k. And I'm going to identify my vertex first, my h k. And the h here is 5. And you see how my k here is 3. So I'm going to go ahead and put on there 5, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 5, comma 3. There's my vertex and I know this thing is going to open up right form that it's in there let's go ahead and solve for a so 20 equals 4a so 20 equals 
So it looks like my A is 5, and I divide both sides by a 4 there. So I'm going to go up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's my focus. And remember, it wraps around the focus. The parabola will wrap around that. So 5, 3 plus 5 is 8. All right, so 5 comma 8. And then I'm going to go down 5 from the vertex. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm going to put my directrix through that. So my directrix, you know, the vertex had a, a y value of 3, but I'm going down 5 from that. So 3 minus 5 is negative 2. So my directrix here uh, will be uh, y equaling negative 2. So let's make a note. Our focus is 5, 8. Our directrix is y being negative 2. That horizontal line, y being negative 2. What's our focal width? Four times our a is 5. So it looks like 20 is our focal width. So uh, it spans 20 units. So I got to go from the focus, I got to go left 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm just going to go through there. That's how wide this is. And that's going to be somewhere out there. But anyways, this whole length is 20. It's the lattice rectum. And so if you're putting points on, what you want to do is you want to say your y value is 8 and solve, you know, x minus 5 squared equals 20, y minus 3. That's your y value. So 20 times 5, I got 100. Square root, square root. So I get x minus 5 equals plus or minus 10. Add 5 to both sides, 5 plus or minus 10. So I got 15. And 5 minus 10, negative 5. So here's the negative 5, 8. The 15, 8 is way over there on the right somewhere. 15, comma, 8. Those are the two points on my uh, parabola. Well, how about if we're not given in the very useful form? So notice this is just in this general y squared plus 4y y squared plus 4y minus 12x plus 40 equals 0. Well, I'm, I'm noticing that the y is squared. So since the y is squared, I know it's going to open right or left. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything that doesn't have a y in it to the other side, and I'm going to complete the square. So I have y squared plus 4y. I'm going to leave a space equals 12x minus 40. And then the question is, what do I need to add in here to make this a perfect square? If you remember from uh, pre-calc 1, what we did is we took that term. That's called our B term. We divide it by 2 and we square it. That's the number that we want. Take the B term over 2 and square. So 2 squares is 4. If I add 4 to both sides, this will then factor into a perfect square. Y plus 2 times Y plus 2 over Y plus 2 quantity squared. And over here, I got uh, 12x minus 40 plus 4. I got 12x minus 36. So what I have is y plus 2 being squared equals 12 uh, times the quantity x minus 3. And see how this is in my useful form now. So I'm like, oh, this thing opens. Is open right or left? Well, it's positive, so it's going to open to the right. And my vertex hk will be a 3, right? h is 3, and k is actually a negative 2. It's like a y minus a negative 2, so k is negative 2. So my vertex is 3, negative 2, and I'm going to open to the right. So there's my uh, vertex on this one. Now let's go ahead and solve for my a. 4a equals 12. So my a is 3, so I'm going to go right 3, 1, 2, 3, because i got to wrap around that. Here's where my focus is. So uh, the vertex is at 3, negative 2. So 
if I go right 3, my focus would be at 6, negative 2. Let's make a note of that. My focus, 6, negative 2. And then let me go to the left 3 and draw my directrix. 1, 2, 3. And so my directrix on this would be x being 0. which is the y-axis, right? x being 0, the vertical line, which is our y-axis. Let's go ahead and do our focal width. See how wide this thing is. Focal width, or so I can see the lattice rectum, which is the line, that line segment. So we got 4 times our a is 3, so it's a width of 12. So from the focus, I'm going to go up 6, half of that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that's how wide this is. Again, I'd, I would always check points. You know, you know the x values there are 6. So if you plug 6 in... Uh, let's see, what would you get on that? Negative 8 and 4. That's what you'd get. So 6, 4, 6, negative 8. The check points into your original uh, graph. Or you can plug them in right here. That's what I did. I plugged them into that useful form. Y plus 2 quantity squared is 12. Parentheses x minus 3. That's the equation. All right, let's do another one. This time... I have a 2x squared, 2x squared plus 4x plus 20y minus 38. This equals 0. So again, notice the x is being squared. So I'm going to keep everything with an x on this side. And then I'm going to subtract 20y to both sides. And I'm going to add 38 to both sides. So here's what I have. And now what I'm going to try to do is... Um, <clears throat> complete the square on this. Now, my x squared needs to be 1x squared. So let me factor out a 2. And then let me account for this. So what's the number I need in there? Well, 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 1 squared is 1. So I'm going to add 1. Now, before you add 1 to this other side, that's not true. Don't do that. What did you really add? You didn't add 1. We actually added 2. Because that 2 is distributed. Okay. So let's see what we have. We have 2, and then x squared plus 2x plus 1. That factors into x plus 1, x plus 1. So it's negative 20y plus 40. Now notice we can divide everything by 2. So we have x plus 1 squared equals negative 10y plus 20. Go ahead and take a negative 10 out. And there we are. We have it in our form, our useful form. x minus h squared equals negative 4ay minus k. Well, since the x is being squared, x squared means it opens up or down. But since I've got a negative right there, what this thing will do is it'll open down. So let's identify our vertex. So here was number one, get it in a useful form. Number two, what's our vertex h? Okay, well, our h here is negative 1, and our k here is a positive 2. Our vertex is negative 1, 2, negative 1, 2, and again, this will open down. All right, so make a marking, it will open down. Now, let's go ahead and solve for a. We had negative 10 equals negative 4a. So I divide both sides by negative 4, I get 10 fourths or 5 halves, or 2.5. So I'm going to go down 2 and a half right there. That's where my focus 
is. So it has the same x value of negative 1, but instead of the vertex, you know, the vertex had a, was the point. Oops. Negative 1, 2. So it'll have the same x value, but 2 minus 2.5 is negative a half. So my focus is negative 1, negative a half. My directrix, I got to go up 5 halves from the vertex. So let me go up A amount as well, 1, 2 and a half right there. So there's where my directrix will be. So my directrix would be at uh, y equaling, so 2 plus 2 and a half is uh, 4 and a half or 9 halves. That would be my equation for my directrix. Kind of run out of room here. Sorry about that. My focal width is 4a. So we got 4, our a is 5 halves. So I got 20 over 2, or uh, 10 is our focal width. So I'm going to go right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 from the focus, and left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 from the focus. And so I know that's how wide it is, is I got to go through those two points. All right. If you're checking points, those would have a y value, the same y value of negative a half. And, and by the way, that'll end up being 4 and negative 6 for your x values. I'll give you those two points right there. Okay. All right, now we've got uh, some situations where we're given some information. We've got to come up with uh, the equation. Okay, so find the equation if it's known our focus. So let's put our focus on the graph. One, two, three, four. Here's our focus and our vertex. Maybe I should have started with my vertex. Here's my vertex zero, zero. And my focus, we know it wraps around the focus, right? So it'll be something like that. So I would note, hey, this thing opens left, and it's centered, the vertex is at 0, 0. So since it, if it opens right or left, you'd be the y squared, right? Or if you want to do y minus k squared, if it opens left, it'd be negative 4a x minus h. Here's our h, k, though. So if I let h and k be 0, we just have the y squared equals negative 4ax, right? The basic ones that are just centered at the origin. Um, so then the question becomes, well, what's my a? What's the distance from the vertex out to the focus? And here you can just count it, right? It looks like, hey, our a is 4 here. So a is 4. y squared equals negative 4 times 4 x. Here's the equation, y squared equals negative 16x, right? And you can always check yourself. You know, you can pull up your uh, graphing calculator for your homework and just check it, make sure that it uh, looks right. Let's do that. y squared equals negative 16x. See how that thing's centered is 0, 0. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't plot your focus, but here's your, here's your focus. Oops, 4, 0. There's your focus. Our directrix would be x equaling 4. Let's go ahead and put our directrix on there. It looks like it's in green there. Anyways, you get a nice picture of what uh, the information gave you. Let's go back here. 
And the next one. Now this time, what if they give us a focus, not, not at the origin this time, but the focus here is at 2, 4. Here's my focus. Remember, it wraps around the focus. And then they give us a directrix, x equaling negative 4. Here's the vertical line for my directrix, x being negative 4. Well, you know your, um, <clears throat> your vertex has got to be smack between those two. All right, so where would the vertex be? Well, this is a distance of how far is that? I count it. One, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like it's a distance of six. And if you're not sure, you could also say, well, what's the midpoint between the directrix, which has a, a negative four? Let me take that point right there. Negative four, four, two, uh, the focus two, four. That's where the vertex would be. Well, the midpoint formula says, from uh, precog says, take the average of your x's, comma, average of your y's. x1, y1, x2, y2. So you got negative 4 plus 2 over 2, 4 plus 4 over 2. So you got negative 2 over 2 is negative 1, 8, 8 over 2 is 4. So it looks like this is negative 1, 4 is smack dab between them. I know we could have counted it, but um, sometimes you have fractions and whatnot. So it's kind of nice to know that midpoint formula. So that's your vertex. There's your HK. There's your vertex. And, and you know it's going to wrap around your focus on this. So you got a vertex of negative 1, 4. That's number 1. And, and it's going to wrap around it. Well, it opens to the right. So then I look at my notes and I say, well, if it opens right or left, it's the y squared one. So y is squared. If it opens to the right, it'll be a positive 4a. And what's our a? Well, what's this distance? You can see that it's a distance of 3. Hopefully you can see that. Um, because the total distance from the directrix of the focus was 6. So that'll be a distance of 3. So now we got a 3 there. Our h is negative 1. Our k is 4. That's from our vertex. So we got y minus 4. Quantity squared is 4 times 3 is 12. x minus a negative 1 or x plus 1. So here's our equation. And you could check that with decimals to see if it checks out. All right, this time we got our vertex given. That's nine, one, two, three. Let me put that on. Here's my vertex, three, zero. And then this time the directrix is y equaling two. Y equaling two. So what I'm gathering from that is I'm like, okay, that means my A is 2, and then my focus would be down here too, and then I've got to wrap around that focus, right? So my focus, if my, actually, let me write my vertex. Let's make a note of this. A vertex is given 3, 0. This thing opens down that'll be helpful here's our hk my a is a distance of two because my directrix was given right distance from the vertex up to the directrix is two and so if i'm uh, down to then my focus has got to be at three negative two so my focus focus would be at three negative two And let's go ahead and write the equation. If it opens up or down, then the x is squared. So the x is squared. And then if it opens down, it would be a negative 4a. So here's our hk, and here's our a. So we got x minus h. A is 2, Y minus our K. So 
we get x minus 3 squared equals negative 8 times y. So x minus 3 point squared equals negative 8y. And that would be the equation of the parabola as well as, of course, the graph. Well, thanks so much for watching. Taking notes. See you next time.